A particle is moving on the x-axis and its velocity v meters per second, t seconds after a given instant is given by v equal t squared in brackets 3 minus t for t is greater than or equal to 0. When t is equal to 2, p is observed to be 4 meters from the origin in the positive x direction. Part A, find the acceleration of p when t is equal to 2, 3 marks. The particle is at instantaneous rest initially and when t is equal to capital T, Part B, determine the distance of P from O when T is equal to capital T, 9 marks. Pause the video, have a go at the question and then play the video. I'm going to start off by sketching the velocity time graph. The velocity time graph is given by this equation. This is a cubic equation. It is a negative cubic equation because if we expand the bracket, the coefficient of the T cubed term will be negative. The t-intercepts for this cubic are t equals 3 and t equals 0. The curve will bounce at t equals 0 because t is a repeated factor. So I'm going to sketch the graph for this equation for t is greater than or equal to 0. So this is what my graph looks like. Notice that we've got dashed lines over here because that's not included as part of my graph. I've sketched it for t is greater than or equal to 0 so I'm only looking at this part of the curve. X represents the displacement. T represents the time. V represents the velocity. Let's have a look at part A. Find the acceleration of P when T is equal to 2. The acceleration equation is given by differentiating the velocity equation with respect to time. The velocity equation is t squared in brackets 3 minus t. If I expand this, I get v is equal to 3t squared minus t cubed. a is equal to dv over dt, which is 6t minus 3t squared. To find the acceleration of p when t is equal to 2, we need to substitute t equal to 2 into the acceleration equation. So when t is equal to 2, a is equal to 6 multiplied by 2, minus 3 multiplied by 2 squared. Acceleration is equal to 12. Take away 12. Hence, the acceleration is equal to 0. Therefore, the acceleration of P when T is equal to 2 is 0. Let's have a look at part B. The particle is at instantaneous rest initially and when T is equal to capital T. Determine the distance of P from O when T is equal to capital T. There are two different methods that we can approach. I'm going to start off with method number one. When the particles are instantaneous rest, the velocity is equal to zero. This implies that t squared in brackets three minus t is equal to zero. If I solve this equation, I get t is equal to zero or t is equal to three. We are told that the particles are instantaneous rest initially, so that's when t is equal to 0, and when t is equal to capital T. So the 3 represents capital T. The area under a velocity time graph represents displacement. Distance is the absolute value of displacement. To find the distance, of P from O when T is equal to capital T, which is 3, I need to take the absolute value of the integral from 0 to 3 of the velocity equation, which is 3T squared minus T cubed with respect to T. Geometrically, this definite integral represents the area bounded by the curve and the t-axis from T equals 0 to T equals 3. So it's this area over here. Now I can go ahead and find this definite integral by integrating term by term and then substituting the limits. So I have absolute value. The first term integrates to t cubed. Take away the second term integrates to t to the power 4 over 4. Taking limits 0 to 3. If I substitute t equals 3, I get 6.75. Take away, substitute t equals 0, I get 0. 
So we have the absolute value of 6.75, which is just 6.75. Don't forget to stick in the unit meters. This completes method one. Let's have a look at method two. Firstly, I know that capital T is equal to three as explained in method one. We want to find the distance of P from O when T is equal to three. To do this, we need to first find the displacement equation. Now the displacement equation is given by integrating the velocity equation. So we're integrating 3t squared minus t cubed with respect to t. If I integrate this, I get t cubed minus t to the power 4 over 4 plus c, the constant of integration. So I have x is equal to t cubed minus t to the power 4 over 4 plus c. How do we find a constant of integration? We know that when t is equal to 2, p is observed to be 4 meters from the origin. So we have that when t is equal to 2, x is equal to 4. So we can substitute t equal to 2, x equal to 4 into this equation, rearrange and work out c. If I carry out the substitution, I get 4 is equal to 8 minus 4 plus c. Hence, if I rearrange, I just get c is equal to 0. Therefore, the displacement equation is x equal t cubed minus t to the power 4 over 4. I can now find the displacement x when t is equal to 3. So when t is equal to 3, x is equal to 3 cubed minus 3 to the power 4 over 4. This gives me 6.75 meters. The distance is just the magnitude of the displacement. So the magnitude of 6.75 is 6.75 and then don't forget to put in the unit which is meters. So the distance of P from O when T is equal to 3 is 6.75 meters. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to subscribe.